And Paul said with his own mouth, he said, talked about the abundance of revelation that he began to receive. Abundance of them. It's just like an uncovering. Now you may know, and I believe one reason that Paul, that, that Jesus used Paul like he did uh, is because he knew so much about the old covenant. He was into it to the max. He was top of the class. He was, he was the top man on the totem pole. He was it at that time. He knew the law inside out. He knew it. He knew it. He probably knew more about it just about than anybody and maybe people put together. And that's why he had such a zeal to stop this thing that was coming up. He thought it was wrong about the Christians and Jesus. But, but when God filled him, come into his life and then come down on the inside, it was the day when Paul began to see even though all he knew, he didn't, he didn't see anything. But this day he began to see. And all these revelations started coming, uncovering. The Spirit of God was just uncovering things, left and right. He's uncovering this, and Paul was seeing this, and, and he was uncovering this, and he was uncovering this, to the point that he said there was such an abundance of revelation, almost that I could be exalted above measure. That's what he said. I said that's what he said. And who was giving him this revelation? The Holy Spirit was. Paul didn't know that the, the, that the Gentiles race of people was, was destined to come into uh, to God's plan. He didn't know that. They, they not, there's not one of them had an idea of it until the Spirit of God revealed it. Peter and them was all over there in Jerusalem with the Jews. They wasn't going out there going to go over and visit the Gentiles. They didn't know anything of it. And Paul, and, 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 and really, uh, Jesus had to, had to show Peter three times the same thing, trying to talk to him and get it into his spirit that something's going to change here today. It's not today. It's already changed. God already, uh, back in the beginning of time, he had already pre-planned this thing. But Peter didn't know it. See, this is the mistake people have made. This is what they put. Those are apostles. They only knew what God showed them. And today, you know what? We will only know what God shows us. And John said, John the Baptist said, a man can receive nothing. How much is nothing? How much is it? Not hard to figure out, is it? Not complicated, is it? We won't have to go for the next three or four hours trying to figure out what nothing is. It's nothing. He said a man can receive nothing, at least it be given him from heaven. Praise God. What's that mean? Unless the Spirit of God reveals something to you, you're not going to have it. That's true. Amen. Now this apostle, Paul, right here in Romans 8 said in verse 14. Now they would nobody probably disagree that Paul was led by the Spirit of God. Or probably no one would disagree that the apostles were led by the Spirit of God. John, Paul, and Peter, and all those guys. But they're, they're not the only apostles we know of in the Bible. God gave more. These is just the, the first 12 that began. And this, this apostle Paul said, for as many of us as apostles are, as are led by the Spirit of God. That's not what he said. He said, for as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. What's he saying? He said, it's just not for us apostles. He said, for as many as are led. And you'll find this kind of talk all throughout the Word of God. Are you listening? Amen. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, by the Holy Spirit. And we, we see throughout the book of Acts and love the book of Acts, love all of them. 
But we see his working, one working right after the other. He begins to speak and he begins to do and he begins to show. Amen. Begins to speak things. But now let me tell you something too. Being led by the Spirit is not the same as being used by the Spirit. That's different altogether. Two different things. Somebody, I say, somebody would say, I know somebody that's led by the Spirit. What you really mean is, you know somebody that's used in a gift. That is not the same. No. The gift of the Spirit is, of a Spirit, is a manifestation of the Spirit. That's what he's doing. That's what the Spirit of God is doing. So if I'm talking and God wants to give me a word of wisdom, and I've, I've had that happen before. That's not me. That's the Spirit of God manifesting. That's the Spirit of God in me. I just happen to be hooked in and tuned up, and I hear him, and I get it, and I'm used, and, but it's the Holy Spirit doing it. Now, that's different altogether. I could go out and not be led by the Spirit at all. 